This is so wonderful to have you here, Sean. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. And I'm actually opening up my series of interviews with um, business women supporting business women. And um, I'm so pleased that you are first out because you're a pretty awesome person. Thank you. Yeah, so mm. iStorm is all about supporting business women to be seen and heard and build up the confidence because women deserve to be seen and heard. And I think we've had enough of hiding and being looked at as second class citizens, really. Don't you agree? Yeah. It's time to step up and yeah. make our voices heard. I wish I didn't have to agree. Mm. That's why I've got a bit of with that, but. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Mm. So, do you want to tell us who you are? Well, my name is Shan Young and I am a, an award-winning entrepreneur. I'm a published author, a TEDx Drapanos Women speaker. Also, I've spoken with the UN and Global Climate Change Summit. And yeah, I just love working with women. I had a business um, before the one I'm doing now that helped over 5,000 women with their self-esteem and self-confidence. And I just love, I love what I do. Fantastic. What makes you love working with women more than men? Um, are you going to be honest yet? Of course you can. Okay, so yeah. after working with 5,000 women, I am a woman, you know? So that, that essence that I have as a woman, that I can't, I can't get an essence of a man because I'm not a man. <laughs> And so I found out that by speaking to people I've worked with that, you know, I just have this superpower to make women feel amazing and own their, own it, just own it. And so that's why I realised, you know, that that's what I should be doing with the story that I have and where I've come from. And how do you do that? What is, it, what is your actual work that you do? Well, basically I'm a health coach and I also self-esteem development business and I help women just keep their energy I, I help them find out what's stealing your energy what's stealing your time so that you're feeling depleted when you're trying to build a legacy and and you're not being heard or you know how do you get the strength and power to continue on but in a sustainable way so you can have love and life and abundant feelings like every day in what you're doing and how can you fortify your strength how can you fortify your life so that you can build that legacy that we we all know you can and we look forward to seeing it. So I help all my clients with, uh, I have a five-step model called the Shaw Model, Sustainable Health and Wellbeing. And this has come from years of research of a sustainable business model tied with the years, years of experience I've had with my story of recovery and and as a health coach, as a fitness instructor, with other 5,000 women. So I've built this process that's a five-step process and once you learn it, you can use it in all areas of your life when you want to upgrade a part of your life and transform your life. So that's how I help my clients. That's uh, obviously quite needed. We are going to talk more about your story. Um, but first, I just wanted to so we tend to think that, you know, the more money we make, the more successful we are, the bigger the business, um, the happier we should be. Um, it's not really the case, is it? I think these are very male-generated ideas, if I'm honest. Mm. You know, a as a woman, obviously, there's the financial success to be able to do what you want to do with your life and with your family is, is awesome. And that is part of success. But that's not the only marker. I mean, do you wake up feeling good? Do you wake up feeling like, I want to take this day, you know? Like, like today I wanted to come in and, and speak to you because this is what I do and, it, and it's awesome. It makes me get up every day. I have love in my life. I have beautiful, well, children and oh, another one coming. <laughs> and yet I'm still achieving the goals that I want to achieve, but I'm not killing myself doing it. And I think us women and the feminine power we can transform the idea of business i mean wellness in business is starting to come in because businesses are starting to realize that if your workforce is sick productivity is down profits are down it doesn't work whereas women come from the other point of view where we nurture we grow life we nurture those around us and that's our natural state and I want us to honour that because that's what needs to be brought in now is a nurturing of your workforce, a nurturing of your legacy, a nurturing of you first. And that's another thing women have struggle with because we always want to put everyone else first. So it's about learning to say no. 
honouring yourself if that's what you need. And so, yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> so what was the point in your life or what happened to get you confident, shall we say that, to do what yeah. you're now doing? There was a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you want me to share my story at this point? Share your story, please, if yeah. you want to. So I spent at 15 years old, a teenage girl, I was made homeless. I spent seven years on, on and off the streets, living in DOS houses, you know, just surviving. And in that time, I suffered seven attacks. I literally was starving. I had fear in my body every single day. People looked at me like I was a sub in Nima, not even human, because of the state I was. And then, you know, through a string of serendipitous moments and wonderful people and little gifts in my life, I, I found a place to stay. And then I collapsed physically with exhaustion and mental health issues. And I realised that I hadn't died. And it was at that point, because I was like bleeding from the stomach ten times a day, oh I was that ill. And I realised I'm not, I'm not dead yet, so maybe I need to figure out how to live. And so I started to look around and figure out how to live. And I've come from that all the way through hustling up, um, single mother on the poverty line, you know, raising a business myself with nothing. Just, I basically could pole dance and instruct, uh, you know, so I kind of went, okay, what have I got? And made a fitness studio. And seven years later, I won two awards and published a book in the time of that, that fitness studio. But most importantly, I raised a, a, an award-winning scholar, Myself, my son is at uni and he's got a scholarship and he's getting straight A's in his first year and haven't got the the scores for this year. So not only did I do that, I raised a child that is well and happy and great in society as well. So women, we're not just raising businesses. We are teaching the children in our life. And if we don't teach them how to take care of themselves or honour themselves, we're just perpetuating it. And it is a heavy burden that women carry, but it means that we can take care of ourselves because to do that right, you take care of yourself. Everybody learns to take care of themselves. So that's my story and that's where I've come from. And to come from there to now, I'm pretty confident. We mentioned just before, I can go into a boardroom, a meeting, a situation, and you know, no, it doesn't phase me, you know, no, Look, I said no, I just said no. No is a two-letter word. It doesn't mean anything. It's not a reflection on you. Um, other people's behaviour is nothing you can change. So, you know, just don't be scared to hear no's. Don't be scared to fail. I mean, my business, um, the fitness studio, shut down because I ended up getting exhausted with the amount I was doing. So I've learnt from that recovery as well. So that's, that's all the... I have so much tools that now allow me to be incredibly confident wherever I walk. And I see people walking with my big baby bump in the <laughs> street and I'm just like rocking my bump, you know? <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I love to share that with women because you can have it. You can be confident and we're gonna share a couple of tips on how you can do that in a minute. Yeah, just trying to compose myself after your story. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, honestly, it's um, even to just hear it is so, so strong. It's, um, yeah, well done. You deserve every award you can get. Thank you. Yeah, and like I said, one for today, being 44 and six months pregnant and painting my toenails myself. That's an award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, it's a great start to these interviews. Oh. I'm in tears already, Sean. Um, you are up for an award quite soon though again, aren't you? Yeah, Empower uh, National Business Award. Mm. I'm up for the Legacy Award. At your age. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just for building the mm. health and well-being that I build, you know, and, mm. and the legacy because I'm very much connecting it to sustainability. I do believe that if we love ourselves and we take care of ourselves, that is what we see in our environment. But so many people are just overwhelmed and struggling mm. and they're barely managing to do their daily stuff. So how are they going to think about all the things in the environment that they need to do? You know, how are they going to think about 
the, the, the plastic situation, mm -hmm. for instance, you know, it is everywhere. And it does take a bit of thought to figure how you can weed that out of your life. And so, but when you start taking care of yourself, you stop exposing yourself to these chemicals in your life. You learn how to clean your home out. Well, you know you've just been to Uganda and got all these soaps, which I'm picking up some today because I, I use natural products on my body because endocrine disruptors are in, in on-the-shop products and you're challenged with them as well. You're putting that on your body and then your system is like dealing with these toxins while dealing with life. So that's why I'm all about health. I believe that if you're well, you will make the world around you well and then that will just spread. So that's that's why I'm here. Thank you for being here and sharing mm. that message. Thank you for letting me share. So how can we share what you know with the, with someone who doesn't have your experience to build up that same confidence? Is that transferable? Yeah, well, what I figured out after all that learning mm. <laughs> is it starts with your breath. And we all have our breath, yeah? So even if we just breathe just now and just take a breath in and slow it down, you know, just breathe. And I know we're all like, we no time, we no time. I mean, we have to wait for a train and instead of waiting and breathing, we're on our phone and we're processing and we're processing and we're not giving ourselves a breath. So start with your breath. Just breathe. Just realize that that chaos will calm down if you start to make it calm down by breathing. Um, I use a good one that's just one, two breath. Mm -hmm. It literally, breathe in, count one, breathe out, count two. You're stuck in a queue at a supermarket, breathe in one and out two. And nobody needs to know you're doing it. And you, by the time you come to the checkout, they're like, sorry for your wait. And you're like, it's fine. You know, it doesn't get much easier than that, does it? It's like the foundation for everything is our breathing, and breathe. there we are. We forget to breathe, don't we? We do forget mm. to breathe, and mm. and that's the bit that starts linking to the mind. And mm. we can't go into depth with all these connections, but your mind talks to your stomach. If you're panicking up here, you're pumping cortisol into mm. your stomach. Then you're not digesting your food. Then it comes to my next point: is your body. If your body is no nutrients, your body is like going help, 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 and it's sending signals to your brain. So you've got this constant dialogue of emergency, 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 run, 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 help, help, help. And that in itself is a fear that you carry and you're not quite sure why you're scared. But it's your body signals saying like your low nourishment, nourishment of love, nourishment of self-care, nourishment of mind. Mindfulness is so powerful. And then when you slow your mind down and you eat nourishment, your body starts to go, oh, that's it, that's what I needed. I needed some nourishment, you know, mm -hmm. and getting a hug, like we're going to have a hug in the snug today, you know, get a hug, like fill your life and yourself with nourishment, love and mind calm. And then you become so grounded, so stable. And like I said with my story, I've come from being sick blood every day and bedridden, yeah, to now, you know, blessed with a, a baby, blessed with love, blessed with an amazing life, you know, impacting where I, I want to impact. And so basically, yeah, that, they're, they're my tips because once you take care of your mind and your body, you can, like, burn it in business, man. You can nail it in business because you're stabilized, you're stabilized here, you're stabilized mm. here, yeah? Mm. And you get things done quicker, like more sharply, which means you have more time to have more fun and find more love and more fun in your life, which feeds into the whole thing. So yeah, you've got your superpowers with you, your mind and your body. That's wonderful. Yeah. And it sounds so easy, I know. It's not always that easy. No, um, I mean, I apply this and I teach this before people switch on the camera to create this uh, bubble of calm and breathing is so important. It's important for your voice as well mm -hmm. uh, because you sound nervous if you're not breathing and if your tone is up here. Um, but once you start breathing, everything kind of just falls into place, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it is amazing. Yeah. And it is tricky when you first start because your mind is like, 
it, it likes to be busy. Yeah. And that's why the one, two breath works because now you're busy counting one and two. So your yeah. mind's like, oh, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. One, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Don't need to check Facebook anymore. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, a bit of self control. Yeah. I always say put a timer on your phone, five minute timer, even a minute timer if that's where you're at. Mm. A minute timer and basically just count one, two. Yeah. And don't stop until the timer goes off because your mind, if you don't put the timer, goes, God, we've been here for about six hours. What? I've got so much to do. But if you have a timer, you can just say to your mind, it's less than a minute. Chill out. I'm breathing. Mm. Yeah. And then you start to be the one who's in control of your mind. Yeah. Love that. And this ridiculous thing with pulling in your tummy. You know, when you're around that people, right that's not happening there. I stopped trying to do that about 30 years ago. It just yeah. doesn't work and it blocks your whole And why would you system. pull in your tummy? Oh, that, that's what we used to have to do with corsets and all sorts as women, didn't we? And now to hide our little belly, which is just us, part of us, and allows us to be natural and free. Yeah. So, so many silly things going around. I think, like, I have the blessing of of being on the streets for seven years so all the conditioning you got growing up in the systems I didn't get that conditioning so I'm outside mm. the box so I can show you what it's like when you smash that conditioning when you let it go and don't let it own you because we're blessed with every second we breathe you know every time you wake up it's a new opportunity to make things happen so yeah that book I'm reading um, what, what was it book you're reading yeah, Mary Beard, Woman and Power, a Manifesto. Now, this is about women's voice and how through the centuries we've been shut down, um, right to Greek times, uh, women have been shut down when we talk. Uh, I mean, have any of you ever been told, like, oh, stop moaning? And you just spoke. You weren't moaning. You were mm -hmm. just talking, mm -hmm. right? But because we're women, it's like, oh, just, or you've got a squeaky voice or you're, mm -hmm. you know, all these judgments. Now, when you follow tips like, like I've, I've shared today and, and get support with it, get coaching and get strong with it, them things kind of, mm. they just go off you. And, and like me was saying before you put the camera on, when you're calm, before you go to an event, do your breathing. Eat something really grounding, you know, really stabilizing your body and then go to that event. And then if people say comments like that, just watch them just bounce off you mm. you don't need to own any of that i mean it's time that we don't own any of it and mm. start creating the future we want yeah snug hug in the snug. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much yeah you're welcome thank you and good luck yeah with your business with your award but more than anything getting this well, little, little one girl to this i've world. heard <gasps> Right. Yeah, you know, so another another woman. Another woman. Yeah, and I'm that's carrying be the one eggs woman. of my grandchildren. Mm, you wow. Are. Yeah. Women are amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. Are. Yeah. <laughs> men are pretty cool too. I yeah, love Yeah, I've I've I don't mind the just men. Just because I this say is... women are amazing doesn't mean I don't think men are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think this We always have awesome to have that though, don't we? That's another thing, you know. You're a feminist, but 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 you love men. You don't are you not a bitch? You're not <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Anyway, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for watching. Come thank back you. soon. If you want to see more interviews, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow the pages of iStore. Mm -hmm.